Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. Did you try reversing the phase oscillation? That's the first thing I tried. I'm stumped. This way. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They're operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle and meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. No? Well, looks like I'm going. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good, Captain. You come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous She's when he says that. that. Bucket suited up. Enterprise shuttle confirming approach at five by six. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The whole space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sulu, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. 
Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I can. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Captain, we're picking up some strange readings. There appears to be some sort of anomaly. We kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Then just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. from this side. <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point? With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Whenever you're ready. 
ready, Spark. Sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now. Exposure our suits can handle. Get into cover. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. you can provide. The only way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Commander, I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Gotcha. We should split up. That's the locking mechanism. If Spock can slow down the ring long enough, I can shoot. Captain, now would be a good time to shoot the locking mechanism. 
success, Captain. We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. that strand of crew. Great, no cover. I believe we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. Life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tamar? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tamar, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. Wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates? I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. 
Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirak is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly. This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge.
Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura, hail new Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the rip is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spark, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott? I've put some wee modifications on it just like you asked, but I've been working on some other options too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Any further out, and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped to build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? You can't make that jump. They are dead, Captain.
guy wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. See what we've got here. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Who is there? Can you help me? This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Captain. I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Let's find this Chirac guy and get the hell out of here. Officer. Quickly. Come in. Osa Vensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more in 
infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. of the power cells on your tricorders. Fasten their support. Commodore Daniels and Starfleet will have an honored place in the history of New Vulcan. If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Let them see you. Have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. I can hear you. It's deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own.
The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming. doesn't get any easier, does it? Let's look for another way in. Spock, over here. An access hatch. Same toxin we found in the fallen Vulcans, but they do not appear to be infected. They must be the host. You think? I will always be grateful for the assistance Commodore Daniels has shown the Vulcan people. But recently, his priorities have become troubling. He remains steadfast in his support of the Helios device, but he increasingly appears to show more interest in the possible side effects of the device rather than its primary function. There is some... Captain, the Helios device. He's got the device! We must not let him escape. Back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if 
I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, uh, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course. Another one. I've got something here. without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get sad. Seems simple enough. Indeed. without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get sad. Seems simple enough. Indeed. Where is he? We'll get him back. No, 
The Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tamar, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Boost, please. Captain, you have reached another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. Help me up, sir. <sighs> Give me a hand, Spock. remains strong, but recent tests indicate that our grand experiment will not proceed as easily as we had hoped. The construction of the device is almost complete and ahead of schedule. The assistance provided by Commodore Daniels of Starfleet has been invaluable. And yet... The door's open. Let's get moving. Sirak is concerned that we are proceeding too quickly. I remain confident in our plan, but Father is not wrong. The closer we get to Helio... Walk on it. Tamar, 
are. Where is the nearest medical facility? There is a medical facility nearby. I will mark it on your tricorder. Uh, uh. Think you could pick up the pace, Spock? The sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can heal that leg. You should hurry. I'm detecting more Gorn approaching your location. Uh, there's a gurney over there. More creatures are approaching your position. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold them off. You're enjoying this, are you? I assure you that I am not. This may... Ah, damn it! ...hurt. <laughs> I believe you should now be able to stand. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I am on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. Need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence.
clearance is clearing up. I've got a lock on you. That means they're leaving the planet with the Helios device. Scotty, energize! Full power, Mr. Sulu. We need to disable that ship. Aye, sir. Captain, the enemy ships are almost in range. Lieutenant Uhura, open hailing frequencies. No response, sir. Well, I don't feel like talking anyway. Sulu, check off. Prepare to engage hostiles. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Captain, sensors indicate a Vulcan life sign on the larger enemy ship. It is Sorak. Captain, I would advise a more cautious approach. Noted. Enemy fighters within range, Captain. Captain, enemy ships changing course. They're heading towards us. Phaser banks fully charged, Captain. Ready when you are. Hold weapons fire only on my mark. Fighters approaching in three, two, one. Fire! damn ship is out there taking shots at us. I recommend focusing all weapon fire on its vital points, Captain. I'm seeing a dramatic increase in enemy count, sir. Then let's get this over with. Indeed. Some kind of suicide mission. Scotty, damage report. Assessing damage, but at first peak, she seems to be holding together, sir. But I don't know how much more of this she can take. Jeez, oh, you bastard! Salute, check off, make sure none of them get through. Towards the rip. With the attack fighters destroyed, we should easily overtake the remaining vessels, Captain. Hold your fire, Sulu. Take us to full impulse and bring us within transporter range. Uhura, hail the lead ship. Tell them they're about to be boarded. I said, hold your fire! Captain, it wasn't us. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were firing on their own ships. They are creating a debris field with their own people. In torpedo range, sir. Target their engines. I just want that ship disabled. There's too much debris. We can't line up the shot. Then you'll have to do it manually. This should be interesting. <laughs> Uhura 
Get me Starfleet Command. Sulu, set a pursuit course. We're going after them? Full impulse power, Sulu. Aye, aye, sir. Jim, sick bay is overflowing. We need to get these people to the nearest star base immediately. Sir, the rib is interfering with communications. I can't hail command. Wait, so your plan is to go through a compressing tear in the fabric of space, to chase a vicious alien race that we don't know anything about, except they now have a doomsday device, and we can't even call for backup? Perhaps the doctor is right. If we were to fail in our pursuit, Starfleet would know nothing of our fate. Entering the rip in two minutes, Captain. We really don't even know what's on the other side, Jim. Power down, Mr. Sulu. Commodore Daniels operates a starbase nearby. He could offer additional support. Daniels? Really? Kinda hate that guy. While I agree with your assessment of his character, Captain, he may be our only option. Tomorrow we will get your father back, I promise. I appreciate your compassion, Captain. But we must focus our energies on retrieving the Helios machine. If the Gorn learn to harness its power... That isn't gonna happen. Sulu, pilot the Enterprise back to New Vulcan. Search for any other survivors and bring them back to this base as soon as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant, energize. We need to observe quarantine procedures. We have no idea what we're dealing with here. Jim, you should probably stay clear of the injury, just to be sure. Got it. See what you can find out about the infection. We'll go talk to Daniels. Heart rate is slowing. Get him stabilized. Med Bay come in, requesting additional resources and transporter bay. What did Enterprise find? I have been sent to escort you to the Commodore. I don't need an escort, especially an armed one. But... Uh, Captain... The Commodore has insisted... Captain, it would be wise to remember that Commodore Daniels is still a superior officer. It may be beneficial to our larger goal if we followed this gentleman. Ah, fine, whatever. Sir? What now? You will need to check your weapons before continuing. You're kidding me, right? I'm a Starfleet captain. It is the protocol of this station. There is little time to argue. I advise that we do as they say. I just want to know one thing. Did anything come through? Sir? I assume you are here because the machine caused a rip. Did anything come through? We were attacked. They took my father. Then it works. Commodore, with all due respect, what the hell is going on here? Unlike you, Mr. Kirk, I did not get my command of a starship because my daddy died in some heroic blaze of glory. Some of us have to earn our way in life. People died back there. I'm sure history will make note of their sacrifice. Commodore, you do realize that the Helios device has fallen into hostile hands. If the Gorn learn to harness its power, they will be all but unstoppable. Isn't that where you two come in, sir? You two were supposed to be the heroes. Starfleet's rising stars, or so I read somewhere. If that is truly the case, I would advise that you get that machine back before there are even more casualties. What have I done? What you've done, Tamar, is help create a machine that will shape the future of Starfleet. Wait, you knew about this? Tamar? Spock, you must believe me. I did this to protect our people. That device was supposed to help rebuild our planet. If I had known that, it would have... On screen! Commodore, where is
is a communications bay. We must notify Starfleet at once. This is my station. I'll notify Starfleet. Prepare my shuttle for evacuation. I knew I hated that guy. Captain, I am familiar with this starbase. I can lead you towards the communications bay on the upper level. What the hell was that? I do not know. The fire is under control. Please remain at your assigned post. We need our weapons back. Help yourself Agreed. to whatever you need, Captain. <laughs> These will suffice. These to do. that fire. I believe we can override the power grid with our tricorders. The turbo lift will take us to the mess hall. Surrounded here pretty quick. Weapons ready. Prepare for. Get out of there! <laughs> 
shields are back at maximum spot. by those giant lizard things. Could really use your help. Captain, we've lost contact with defense teams in lab section 1A. We're on our way. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was a turret. If we can get close enough, we may be able to hack it with our tricorders. Or we could take it out the old-fashioned way. Stay in cover. Damn, could really use some cover. I am injured, Captain. 
What is that thing? I believe it is injecting the crewman with some type of venom. I would suspect that this is how the infection is spread. Take it out. I believe we can continue undetected. Good idea. You guys any closer? I assure you, Doctor, we are moving in your direction. Well, can you move a little faster? Hang in there, Bones. Easy for you to say. My readings indicate the power supply to the labs is being diverted somehow. Give me a boost. How you holding up, Bones? Oh, I'm just damn peachy. Could you hurry it up? We are almost at your location. Well, I hope you almost find me alive.
The door is locked. Well, of course it's locked, you pointy-eared son of a... I had to lock myself in here. Okay, we just need to gather my samples and... I'm uncertain how, but power has just been restored to the area. have gained access to the lab's computer systems. You think they could be after that information on that Helios machine? The doctor may be correct. Despite the Gorn's animalistic appearance, they are a rather sophisticated race. If they were to obtain sufficient information on how to operate the device... Yeah, yeah, end of the world as we know it. Got it. Let's stop them. Bones, you coming with us? I'll take my chances staying here. I have marked the terminals on your tricorders. You must destroy them before the Gorn can access the information. The Gorn have not cracked our encryption yet, but it's only a matter of time. If you can get near that terminal, you should be able to overload it and destroy the data. Terminal down. The security of that data was crucial. My thanks to both of you. Great. Did you get my research samples? You didn't mention anything about samples. Jim, this is no time to argue. Without those samples, we could all become infected. Cold, mindless, and capable of human emotion. Kind of like Spock. From my experience, Doctor, human emotion is highly overrated. All right, we'll get your samples. Spock, let's go. Help is 
Gratitude. Strength is waning. Spark! Interesting. You would be best served hacking that mine to disable it. Find anything yet? I have not. They gotta be here somewhere. It is likely they will not be in one place. Oh, of course not. I make anything easy. Finding my samples. Working on it.
found the first sample. We must find the remaining sample and continue with our mission. Okay, Spock, let's find it. McCoy, we got your samples. Anything else? I think I have all I need for now. Good. Make your way to the shuttle bay and help get some of these people to safety. Already on my way. Spock, the base has become fully compromised. I believe there is nothing further we can do except a call for a complete evacuation. You should proceed to the shuttle bay with the rest of the survivors. Acknowledged.
Captain, you made it. Well, where the hell is Daniels? He should be nearing the shuttle bay. The team and I were about to go in and clear out hostels. We should proceed before the Gorn make escape improbable for the entire crew. on that shuttle. Let's move, move, move! Commander, Captain, thank you for your help. We'll cover you. Just get your people on that shuttle. Help! Don't let them touch me! Get the hell out of my way! Captain, Commodore Daniels appears to be abandoning his post. I knew I hate that guy. Hey, wait! You can't leave without me! Weapon status. Main weapon systems are now offline. Situation is critical. We need to give those shuttles a fighting chance. Got anything we can use? This station was not designed to withstand this type of attack. Tamar, is it possible to arm the subspace relay tower and convert the energy into some form of weapon? I suppose it may be possible, but you would need to reroute the station's power structure. But it would only afford you one highly charged shot. One shot may be all we need. You're a genius, Spock. Let's go.
outside the power station. What now? The power station's most sensitive areas are locked down. My schematics show that you can gain full entry in the security room. give us a tactical advantage. Couldn't agree more. Let's keep quiet. in the control room. What do you see? Please report. All three of the cores are offline. It is just as I feared. The Gorn are trying to disable the station by starving it of power. We must reverse their actions. What do you need us to do? 
If the Gorn wanted to disrupt the power, it is logical that they would tamper with the circuit panels. Tomorrow, how do we find the circuit panels? Use your tricorders. Can you see where the main power lines lead? Follow the power lines to the circuit panels. Got it. Found one. Something's not right here. Looks like those lizard things did something to it. Can you repair it? One core is back online. Only two more to go. about that console. Another one. I recognize their handiwork. Can you repair it? Just one core remaining. Please hurry, we are running out of time. On, Captain, the Gorn ships continue to assault the base. If we do not arm the relay tower soon, there will be no star base left to defend.
power has now been rerouted to the relay tower. Did you ever have any doubt? The odds were against you. However, I suspect that has not slowed you down in the past. I'll take that as a compliment. Tomorrow, we will immediately proceed to the relay tower. I will guide you through the weaponization process once you arrive. door open. We're gonna need to go outside. Spock gets suited up. No way we're getting through that mess. Tomorrow we have come to an impasse. Please advise. Spock, my records show that the ETT is available in your area. We will need to use our tricorders to find the ETT. What the hell is an ETT? It is an engineering transport tool. It allows the transporting of matter over short distances. It may allow us to proceed. The ETT may allow you to circumvent some of the damage in your path. Got it. Activating the ETT. Gorn have made their presence known here as well. Looks like it. There's the cell.
have you been able to contact the Enterprise? I have sent a distress call, but this station seems incapable of receiving a response. Where the hell are they? is offline. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. We need to do a manual override. It appears so.
my position. I am uncertain how long we can hold out. Hang tight, we'll be with you shortly. center is close. Barring any complications, we should be there shortly. What makes you think there won't be any complications? Out this fire. We may be able to manually trigger the fire suppression system. Let's do it. Help! Thank you. If you weren't here, well, I don't know what. 
We appreciate the gratitude, Lieutenant, but we have little time for it. Get your people to safety and await further orders. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, run! Sustained injuries, Captain. Surprisingly, no. You? I am quite remarkably unscathed as well.
no idea how glad we are to see you. Oh, damn it. Captain, there is nothing we can do. We must keep moving if we want to avoid the same fate. Just get me back to my ship. We can proceed through the maintenance tunnels. Approaching your position. Use caution. They attack in large groups. I cannot fight them off much longer. Hang on, we're on our way. Take care of and get to tomorrow. Affirmative. Unrestrained, the intruder could cause considerable damage to this vessel. Then let's restrain them. We're well, we're in pursuit. Lock down all doors on this level. We're gonna flush it to the cargo hold. Have security meet us there. Hi, Captain. Get to your station. What are you waiting for? You heard the captain. Lieutenant Uhura, we have lost visual on the intruder. We have eyes on it. It is headed right toward security. They're standing by, armed and ready. I want that thing contained to whatever it takes. Aye, Captain. Ugh. Captain, it appears to have changed course. What happened to the security team? Never mind. What is the creature's current heading? 
It's headed right towards the officer's quarters. Oh, damn it! We cannot allow it to come into direct contact with the crew. Attempted to shut down all entry points. Too late, he's inside. Lock it in! Aye, aye, Captain. God, open the door. Do you think it's wise to go into that room with that beastly thing? My crew is in there. Open it now. I got it. Stay back. No, no, no. Shit. Phasers to stun. Understood, Captain. We've got injured. How's that antidote coming? It's a work in progress, Jim. You may want to progress faster, Doctor. The DNA coding of these lizards is very complex. If I'm gonna find an antidote, I'm gonna need a sample of the toxin from someone who's recently been infected. Think you can get me one? I think we can manage that. and one of these infected crew members so that the doctor can continue his research. Transmitting samples now. I've got them. Get me a cure, Bones. I'm on it, Jim. Where the hell did he go? He appears to be using some sort of localized cloaking mechanism. No one told me they could do that. I need eyes on this guy. I don't know how he's doing it, son, but his cloaking is very sophisticated. I don't care how it works, just help me see him so I can shoot him. Captain, the fire suppression systems in this room utilize an opaque gas. If we were able to activate the system, we'd be able to see his outline. Scotty, light this damn thing up. The security lock has shut down the system. You'll have to enable the gas manually with your tricorder. It's never easy, is it, Mr. Spock? It would appear that way, Captain. <laughs> that extinguisher.
Captain, following the creature into the turbo lifts may not be the most ideal course of action. Do you have a better idea? Not at the moment, sir. Mr. Scott, anything you can do to help level the playing field? If you could get me a scan of his blood, it's possible I could isolate his DNA signature. Then your tricorder might be able to locate the scaly bastard. Captain, it is possible that our efforts may have injured that creature. If we could locate a blood sample... Already ahead of you. Blood sample coming your way, Mr. Scott. I'll get right on it, sir. This isn't gonna go well, is it, Spock? While I tend to disagree with most of your observations, I fear that this time, you may be correct. After you, Mr. Spock. No, Captain. After you. Got him trapped. Captain, have you considered the possibility that it is we who are trapped in here with him? You're not really a glass half full kind of guy, are you, Spock? Check off, shut down the turbo lifts. I'm working on it, Captain. Here comes another one. Are you all right? I'm good. You? I am uninjured. Good. I'll meet you up ahead. Be careful, Captain. Where the hell did he go? Check off. You see anything? I'm picking up movement. Shuttle bay. He's headed towards the shuttle bay. The creature's best chance for survival would be to attempt an escape from this vessel. That's not gonna happen. Lock everything down, Mr. Scott. That creature doesn't leave this ship unless I give it permission. Aye, aye, sir. Scotty? I mean, one of our shuttles.
another appear. Good news, Captain. Blood analysis is complete and uploaded. Your tricorder should be able to help you find the wee bugger. Good work, Mr. Scott. Now, where is he? Why isn't he out? These creatures have a unique anatomy. It appears he's incapable of movement, but for how long, I do not know. <sighs> ah, great. A mind melt? Are you kidding? Lieutenant Uhura could only decipher a small portion of their language. A mind meld is our only option. In case he snaps out of it. Something's happening, Spock. I am attempting to access this Gorn's memory. I know, it's not my first mind mill. I know, it's not first mind The memories are here, but we must find them. Their galaxy. They conquered their galaxy, crushing every planet they encountered.
the threat was contained. Until the rip. Until the, Until rip. the rip. This is what happened. To New Vulcan. I don't know anything about the machine. My daughter... Take the thing to the brig. I want 24-hour security. This thing doesn't eat unless I know about it. Aye, sir. I'm sorry. The regret is not for myself. This is a great loss for the Vulcan people. We should seek to limit such losses. If they tortured and killed Serac for that information, they'll do the same to Tamar. I am afraid you are correct, Captain. How do you want to handle this one? Our mission could not be more clear. We must go through the rip and recover the Helios machine. And Tamar? I suppose we will just have to save her as well. You read my mind, Commander. And you didn't even have to do that uh, voodoo mind melt thing with my face. Having a hard time keeping her steady. She can't take any more of this, Captain. It's taking everything I've got to keep the ship from ripping apart. Hate to be such a bother, sir, but how much longer? Not too much longer, Scotty. Unknown planet, dead ahead, sir. On screen. It appears as if this is the same planet we saw during the mind meld, Captain. Have they spotted us? It doesn't appear so, sir. If the Enterprise stays near the rip, the interference should keep us hidden. Perfect. Chekhov, take the control. Sulu, you gotta get us down there. Our only chance is if we fly a shuttle in manually, but the odds of them not seeing us are... I have total faith in you. Bones, you're with us. What? Why do I have to go? Jim, I'm a doctor, not a covert agent. Precisely. And as a doctor, you may be our only hope in defeating the Gorn. If you are able to discover an antidote to their venom, we could definitely gain an advantage. <sighs> Damn it. Chekhov, how much time do we have? At the current rate of contraction, the rip will close in approximately six hours, sir. Chekhov, I want the Enterprise back on the other side of that rip before it closes. After you return, right, sir? Whether or not we return. Wait, what? Captain? That's a direct order, Mr. Chekhov. I will not have this ship and my crew left to the mercy of those things if we can't get out of there in time. Aye, sir. Spock, Sulu, Bones, with me. Chekhov, I'm counting on you. Bones, let's go. Right behind you, Jim. Seriously, don't leave me down there. Safely, I don't care where you put us down.
Spark. Readings indicate they are a separate species from the Gorn. They do not appear to be hostile. How do you know? I do not. Comforting. Curious. Their biological makeup appears ill-suited for this type of environment. You think the Gorn drove them here? It is highly probable. I would advise that we lower our weapons before we make additional enemies on this planet. Stand down. Spock, if you're wrong. If I am wrong, then Starfleet will mourn all of us. Scan's picking something up. Oh, this is interesting. We have to find a way off this mountain. Let's get moving. Transponder frequency is coming from beyond this ridge. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to jump. Sulu, can you fix that shuttle? I think so, sir. But it may take some time. Try not to take too long. If anything goes wrong, we may need to get the hell out of here pretty quickly. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, you know what? I'm coming with you. What? You think I'm only useful in sick bay? I was trained at the same academy that you were. Took all the same courses, passed every exam. Hell, I even graduated. After you, Doctor. Uh, on second thought, I might be better suited back here with Sue. I could help out on the shuttle. Get a head start on that antidote. <laughs> Good idea. We will need to take out that radio tower first. You know, if we weren't trying to save the entire universe, this might actually be fun. If you say so, Captain. Solid ground. Nice. The tower that shot us down is up ahead. Our shuttle will not get far if that tower remains operational. Well, let's take it out. Ah, just one. Shouldn't be too hard. That remains to be proven. Anybody ever tell you you can be a bit of a downer, Spock? Yes, Captain. You tell me that with great frequency. <clears throat> a little too quiet. I don't like this. I would have to agree. The silence is quite unsettling. We are definitely not alone. Take cover! Where'd that come from? The enemy appears to be cloaked. How do we uncloak them? Our tricorders should be able to reveal them if only temporarily.
like a dead end. There's got to be a way around this thing. I believe there may be a way for one of us to get across. <laughs> Time to waste. <laughs> Give me some cover fire. Let's move. We don't have much time. We will need to avoid the detection system. Let's see if he can hack that console. Spock. Let me some of that Vulcan strength to get this door open. another way we will need to enter that facility in order to disengage the tower's shielding may I suggest a more indirect route sounds good to me
Another appears. Take our combined efforts to crack this system. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. Filled with weapons, I know. This could get ugly. This is probably their security center. If we can access the central computer, we may be able to shut down the main security system. That would make our job a whole lot easier. There is a coolant system running through the pipes below. If we stop the coolant, it should shut down the main system.
Thanks, Commander. I am coming to help. See what we can do about that console. Let's keep moving. See what we've got here.
interesting. to be the last of them. I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. We're in. Thanks for the help. The shields are open, Captain. Looks like the only way out is up. Indeed. You think we have enough charges? Our supplies should be sufficient. Then let's get to it.
get the hell out of here. Right behind you, sir. I fear my health is compromised. Hold on, I'll help you. Enterprise, your assistance is much appreciated. Thanks. Captain, we're seeing a lot of Gorn activity out here. I think our torpedoes may have alarmed them. Have you been spotted? Negative, sir. The interference from the Rip has kept us hidden, but I don't know for how much longer. Hey, guys! Happy for you to continue the small talk, but the longer you keep chatting, the more likely those things will spot us. And I, for one, would prefer not getting into a full-on battle again up here. Understood, Mr. Scott. We're going silent. Try to remain safe up there. Thanks, Captain. Captain, they are a very capable crew. I am sure they can handle whatever situation may present itself. I hope you're right, Spock. The planet is crawling with Gorn. How are we gonna get through? Readings indicate that there is a subterranean system leading directly into this main encampment. Do your readings indicate whether or not I'm gonna regret going that way? They do not, sir. Well, I guess it can't be much worse than out here. Chilly, but that wasn't so bad. We have yet to make it through all the caves, sir. Ah, oh, you're kidding me, right? There's more?
tired of this water thing, Spock. Next time, let's go down the dry tunnel. Scan complete. <sighs> it just gets better and better. Need a hand here, Spock. Fascinating. I can only assume that's not good news. My tricorder readings indicate some kind of... Life form? Yes, Captain. Some kind of life form. You think they're hostile? Considering all we have been through, that would be a logical conclusion. Try to avoid those things in the future. A sound plan, sir. Whatever that is, that does not look good. No, sir. It does not. Fuck! Take out that nest! I still can't see a damn thing. We should use our tricorders to locate the creatures. It may give us an advantage. Good thinking. How did anyone ever get by without tricorders? They seem to be protecting their nests. If we can stay clear, they may not attack us. They keep coming out of the nests. We've gotta shoot the nests. Wait a second. Give me a boost. <gasps> Never thought I'd say this, but I I'm actually looking forward to getting back in the water. They resemble some form of canine, and they appear to be quite hostile. What gives you that idea, Spock? Oh, great. Maybe Bones can provide some more info. Bones, Sulu, come in. We're here, Captain. We'll be sending you a scan of some kind of... dog thing. Got the scan. Those things are indigenous to the planet, and definitely not Gorn, but... their DNA seems to have been altered. Altered? Yeah. They've been made more aggressive. Perfect. So they're basically really angry pit bulls. Where are these things? 
thing's coming from? Dr. McCoy, how are you progressing on an antidote to the Gorn Venom? Almost there. It's a nasty little virus. But Captain, I gotta tell you, those Gorn are everywhere. Zulu stunned a pregnant female that tried to attack us. Then, like an idiot, I tried to perform an emergency C-section to save the little bastard. The slimy thing came out all teeth and claws, nearly bit my hand off. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think it's funny. Anyway, how are you two doing? Just peachy. Stay in comms in case we need it. You got it, Jeff. We can actually get across that? I believe it is possible. I believe we will need to jump. I believe you're right. getting close. You are correct. them near that door. I think they're protecting something. Perhaps they're protecting a way in. 
Well, there's only one way to find out. Here comes another. Spock, try to hack that console. I'm attempting to bypass the console's controls. Let's go this way. If we are going to reach Tamar, we will need to find a way inside the complex. Ah, my thoughts exactly. Those look like the creatures we met when we landed. They are the same, Captain. They're using them as slaves. I suspect that this is what the Gorn will do to the rest of our galaxy if they are allowed to harness the power of the Helios device. Skilled with weapons, Captain. Commander, I need 
need your help with this system. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. Spark, any idea how we can find Tamar? If we can hack into a security terminal, we may be able to discern her location. I have set our tricorders to detect security terminals. Saying what I'm saying. These items could only have come from Starfleet officers.
Readings indicate that we will find Tamar in the labs ahead. No wonder there's so many guards. <laughs> that console. I do not think either of us want to know. We've got to get to tomorrow. Let's see just how strong their security is. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. This appears to be some sort of prison. Could tomorrow be here? It is possible. Let's keep looking. Commodore Daniels' crew. There's nothing we can do. Let's keep moving. I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Stupid! There's no way Starfleet. We're in. Thanks for the help. What? What are you doing? No! I can help you! Don't! I uh, know! No! Commodore, 
We're gonna get you out of here, sir. Captain? He's a Starfleet officer, Spock. We're not just gonna leave him here. This is your fault. What? You led those things to the Starbase. You did this to me! It was your ignorant and reckless need for recognition that opened the rip and brought the Gorn through. You abandoned your crew, you lied to Tamar, your actions killed Surak, you... Starfleet will believe me. They'll understand. My work would have lived on. Commodore! Where is Tamar? There's no hope of saving her. Where is she? They will do to her what they have done to the rest of us. Numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give him an inch. Captain, grenade! Full human on me. this is all about. I do not know, but I suspect it will not be pleasant. <laughs> Shot. We need to find a way to free Tamar. Indeed, Captain. Another appears. 
Give me some help. My thanks. An what the hell is that thing? It was a pleasure serving with you, Captain. Optimism, huh, Spock? Would you prefer that I lie to you and tell you that this is going to be easy? No, I might. Then, Captain, this is going to be quite easy. Ah, these weapons are pointless. Perhaps we should consider using the grenades. appears to be working, Captain. I can see that. Perhaps if we had another weapon. Oh, good idea. You didn't happen to sneak a photon torpedo into this place, did ya? I didn't think so. Captain, if we were able to combine the items that we do have, we may be able to create a weapon with significantly more firepower. Worth a try. Take as many grenades as you can carry. That thing isn't gonna go down easy. Damn thing's hard to aim. The balance of the weapon is off due to the excessive weight of the grenades. And we'll just have to get closer. We are about to find out. Yeah. <sighs> 
Captain, I order you to stop! Spock. The antidote. Looks like Bones got it to work. You're gonna owe him one. Dropping you a little care package. See if there's anything in there you can use. Looks like we will both owe him one, sir. There, let's go. What about tomorrow? <sighs> Those lizard guys still have her, but we'll get our chance, I promise. Now let's go catch a shuttle. Activate scanners. I want to know where that damn Helios device is. Scanning. The device appears to have moved onto one of their ships. Jim, readouts are going nuts over here. Something's happening. What the hell is that? I believe the Helios device has been reactivated. Tamar, it would stand to reason that they are using her to operate the device. Mr. Sulu, get us on board the Enterprise. We can't tackle those things alone. Aye, sir. Kirk to Enterprise. Perhaps they have gone back through the tear. Ah, uh, Captain. You might want to take a look. What the hell is that? It appears that the Enterprise has been compromised. There's no way I can get us through that, sir. Maybe you can't, but I can. You are not considering. No, we are not considering. We'll signal when it's safe to come over. Aye, sir. Ready? Indeed. Let's go get our damn ship back.
auxiliary exhaust ports in engineering. Perhaps you need some additional practice on your landing techniques, Captain. What are you complaining about, Spock? We got in, didn't we? Now let's get her back. Agreed. Sulu, we're on board. Good to hear it, sir. Any chance of beaming us over there with you? Yeah, and the sooner the better. I don't think I can take any more of Sulu's fencing stories. Captain, if we access that terminal, we may be able to beam them over. Gentlemen, stand by for transport. Mr. Sulu, once you are on board, head immediately to the officer's quarters. It would be advantageous to our mission if you could discover a way to disable the Gorn's tethers. Understood. Bones, get to med bay. We may need your help with the infected. On it. Energize. Scotty, if you can hear me, please respond. We must consider the possibility that Mr. Scott is infected. Or worse. Captain, I'm here. Good to hear your voice, Scotty. Back out, yes, sir. What's the status of my ship? She's in pretty bad shape, sir. Those greedies have the bridge, the warp core is down, emergency life support is holding, but I don't know for how long. Captain, if we are ever to return through the rip, it is essential that we get the warp core back online. It's at the top of my list, Spock. Mr. Scott, we're on our way to warp core. Entrance to the control is through that door, but the hostile presence here is significant. No problem. I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Commander, I need your help with this system. assist you. Get to tell us something, Scotty? I was able to lock down the warp drive control room which kept those pesky buggers out, but... It'll keep us out, too. Aye, sir. But you should be able to override the locks using the main control panel in the center of the room. Understood. We 
You're in. Thanks for the help. Get this door open. I came from over here. Crewman, let's go. Found Keenzer, Mr. Scott. You're alive! Where have you been? That sneaky little bastard. If there's any problems with the warp core, he's your man. Keenzer, see if you can initialize the warp drives. Only one core will lower. We've got to get in there and fix him. We will need to clear the area of Gorn to let Keenzer complete his work. He's no going out to the coast is clear.
appears to be the last of them. Scott, tell Keenzer we're clear. Come on, Keenzer, we don't have all day. Uh, Captain, he may be a wee little bugger, but there's no need to be patronizing. Sorry. Scotty, things ain't looking so good down here. He thinks there's something wrong with the upper wall court. He needs you to investigate. Can do. Commander, help me open this. to notice us. We can go hop.
I will release the pressure. Okay, I'll lower the core. Scotty. Captain, I'd sure appreciate it if you could keep the little bugger safe. I know he's a pain in the ass, but we will do our best, Mr. Scott. Spock, help me open this. some of that Vulcan strength to get this door open. Commander, help me open this.
got something here. Got your shields back up. Good work. Kinza really appreciates your help. It's okay, officer. Online. Nicely done. The infected now appear to be our most immediate problem. How's it going, Bones? I'm making some progress, but it'd be nice to get a little help up here. We're on our way. Spock, let's get to Med Bay. Captain, I think I have an idea that can help here. Let's hear it, Sulu. With the warp core back online, I believe I can destroy those tethers that are holding the Enterprise. We're all ears, Mr. Sulu. No offense. None taken, Captain. If I could pulse the shields... You could disrupt the tethers! He might be onto something, Captain. Get on it, Sulu, but wait for my order. We have to get control of the ship first. Here. It's about time you guys got here. What's the status? I got injured everywhere. We've been able to barricade ourselves in here, but those little bastards are persistent. I don't know how long we've got. And the antidote? I can synthesize an airborne vaccine, but I need the lights back on. I can't see anything, and I don't have enough power to replicate enough for the whole ship. We can boost the power to Med Bay in the control room. Do not worry, Doctor. You will not be in the dark for very much longer. Is that some kind of joke? Not that I am aware of. Ensign, get me that sample from patient 42.
idea, Spock. We need to redirect power using these access points. Our tricorders will help us locate them. On it! Power, Jim. How's it going down there? You're gonna have to be a little patient. Oh, sure. When you want something done, it's all now, now, now. No, when I want. Dr. McCoy, I assure you the lecture is not over. Sit tight, Bones. enough power to the system. Now we just need to send it to Med Bay from the control room. There's something over there. how strong their security is. It will take our combined efforts to crack this system. antidote dispersed ASAP. Doing my best. Captain, we're under attack. We need help in... I can't hold them much longer. Bones, get me a location. They're in the observation lounge. Mr. Chekhov, if you can hear us, we are on our way to your location. They breached the hull. We have injured. <laughs>
get this door open. Chekhov's waiting, Captain. On it. Just get the antidote. I want my ship back. You must stop me! Please! Let's see what we've got here. Follow me! Don't hurt me! Put them off! you're here. Mr. Chekhov, you appear to be injured. I will be fine. Back to Med Bay. Watch out! Yet another appears. I've got you covered, We found Chekhov. Get ready to receive more injured. Someone there! Keep hiding. If I find you, who knows what I will need to no. end? What did I do? on that gurney.
Thank you, Captain. I'll get him fixed up. Please tell me we have enough of that antidote. Looks like we got just enough. Now we gotta distribute it. Given the state of the infected, administering the vaccine may prove difficult. Not as difficult as you think, Spock. The vaccine is airborne. Fascinating. You mean we just pump it through the vents? Here's a highly concentrated batch of the vaccine. Get it into the generator's intake module and the vaccine should eventually spread through the entire ship. I've marked the nearest atmospheric generator on your tricorders. Let's get to it. I need triage over here. The sooner you two can get that vaccine airborne, the better. is a more complex security protocol, but together we may be able to defeat it. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. Dr. McCoy, the vaccine has been inserted into the ship's environmental systems. <laughs> Bones, are they okay? The toxins are disappearing from their bloodstream. They'll have a massive headache when they wake up, but all their life signs are returning to normal. Captain, whatever you're doing to the air, it seems to be taking its toll on the Gorn. Have they been incapacitated, Mr. Scott? Not really, sir, but they definitely don't like it. We're not out of the woods yet. They're breaching. We're on our way, Bones. Hurry up, Jim. There's more on the way. Use you two back in Med Bay. Things are getting hectic here. <laughs> Hurry, I'm not sure how long my boys can hold them off. Over here. Whoa, this is getting too close for comfort. Watch those doors! I think we pissed them off.
This is a hospital, not a shooting range. to be the last of them. Good, now let's end this. Mr. Suli, you ready to go? Ready, sir. Waiting on your command. Do it. I'll stay here and look after the engine. You do what you need to do. Do not harm her. Spock, it could be a trap. If Lieutenant Uhura is... Don't worry, Spock. We'll get her back. That is inadvisable. Don't worry, I got this. Personnel report to stations. How much longer before the rip closes, Mr. Chekhov? An hour, maybe less. It's hard to know for sure, Commander. Do you really think going to that ship is the best option? You've seen what those things are capable of. The Gorn cannot be allowed to control the Helios device. Securing it and Tamar are the only way to assure the safety of the Federation. Then promise me you'll be careful. I will do my best. No time for long goodbyes. Don't you worry, sir. The crew and I will hold off those bloody lizard ships until you come back. Soon we're gonna need a targeted torpedo strike. Blow us a hole and get us inside that thing. Aye, sir. We'll be ready. Captain, we've isolated a weak spot. Firing torpedoes in five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Torpedo strike successful. You see your entry point. Mr. Sulu, we have visual confirmation. Good luck. Where are we? The ship appears to have a double hull. Mr. Sulu's torpedo strike may have only punctured the outer layer. We need to find another way in. The Gorn will use all available resources to search for intruders. It would be highly advantageous if we could avoid detection.
way in somewhere. Captain, that airlock may be the answer to boarding this vessel. I think we can force this one open. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sir, I know you've got your hands full and I hate to bug you with our little problems, but can you do something about their weapon systems first? We're taking heavy damage here. We can't take too many more hits. Understood. Just try to hang in there a little longer. to hold some sort of liquid. They may be stasis chambers.
Hack that console. Thanks for the help. Ready, Spock? I am. Let's go. These chambers were not manufactured for stasis. 
They appear to be bio-enhancement tanks. Enhancement? You hearing this, Bones? Sounds like damn genetic engineering to me. Indeed, Doctor. This may account for how the Gorn have been able to biologically enhance their species. This place is massive. We'll never find a healing device in this room. Unless hacking their systems might give us more info. We just need to find a console with access to the secure systems. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack the system. some sort of targeting platform on the other side of the ship. Look out! tanks and hijack the Gorn transport, we should be able to get up there. I am proud of you, sir. For what? Usually your plans involve mindlessly running into danger. Don't worry, we're still gonna do that. get these to work? I do not know. Perhaps Mr. Scott can be of assistance. Mr. Scott, I am sending you information from our tricorders. Please confirm. Confirm, sir. If we're inside one of those tanks, how do we get those cranes to pick us up? Did you say you'd be going inside the tanks? He did, Mr. Scott. You know I'd love to help you, Captain, but we're a wee bit busy fighting off the Gorn. Scotty! Sorry, Captain. Those tanks should send out a signal right when they're gonna be moved. You'll need to scan one that is about to be picked up, so I can match its signal for you. Let's go. The scan's picking something up. that. Our shields are at 30%. We can't withstand this attack much longer. Damn it, we need to move faster. We're in. Thanks for the help. We just found this ship's central computer. Looks like it's connected to the rest of the ship through those giant cables. If we take this thing out, we can give the Enterprise a fighting chance. Any ideas, Spock? If we override the consoles, we will be able to sever the connection. Take cover! They are tracking us! Captain, I believe we may be able to maneuver behind the turrets and disable them. The shields are back in mass.
Captain, you are injured. Two down. It's working. Three cables down. I don't think they like us very much right now. That's four. Last one. I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Explode! Spock! Open fire! Oh, this is interesting. Captain, whatever you just did seems to have worked. The mothership's weapons have been disabled. What about the rest of the Gorn Armada? It won't be easy, but we may be able to get out of this alive. Great news, Mr. Sulu. Captain, your celebration may be a little premature. We still need to proceed to the ship's core to complete our mission. I know, but sometimes you gotta celebrate the little victory, Spock. Chekhov, something's happening over here. What can you tell me? Captain, we're reading a massive energy buildup on that ship. <laughs> Captain, if we do not destroy the Helios device, the Gorn will be able to use these rips to attack multiple targets in the universe without warning. The outcome would be catastrophic. Then we better hurry up.
How many more of these things are there? at a time. I couldn't have done We have found the device. What the hell are they doing to her? I believe the Gorn are somehow forcing her to operate the Helios device. We need to get her out of there. As long as the Helios device is operational, we will be unable to beam out. And we've got to take it out. We will need to overload those plasma transducers first. Sounds good. What's a plasma transducer? Those pylons. Why didn't you just say that?
I see more of them. We can now disable the Helios device. With pleasure. Captain, it appears that the energy shield around Tamar is connected to the Gorn leader. So we gotta take him out to get to Tamar. It appears so. Fine by me. Tamar, I will take care of their leader. Are you sure? Yes. As I believe you would say, I have a score to settle. Then get to it. <laughs> Scotty, get ready to beam us out on my mark. Captain, I have a lock on all three of you. Do it now. <laughs>
but it looks like there's a whole other fleet of bad guys coming right through that second rep. Don't they ever give up? Status of our engines. They're barely holding on, but they should be able to get us out of here. Good work, Mr. Scott. Sulu, full impulse, get us through that rip. <laughs> Captain's log supplemental. The Federation is safe from the Gorn. For now. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything Spock and I can't do when we work together. It seems that the older Spock was right. Our partnership, our friendship, really is something special. Our mission would not have succeeded if not for the exemplary performance of my crew. They are all truly deserving of commendations for this one. I have recommended to both Starfleet and the Vulcan High Council that Tamar be awarded honors for bravery. I am happy to report that she will be allowed to continue her work in the rebuilding of New Vulcan. I know that she still blames herself for what happened, but hopefully, one day, she will realize that it was Commodore Daniels who deserves the blame for the Gorn invasion. We've just been given new orders by Admiral Pike to travel to the planet Nibiru to help in some sort of humanitarian mission. Hopefully, this mission will include way less Gorn than the last one. Kirkout.